Okay, the first thing you want to do um, is you want to make this uh, petal shape, and uh -huh. I do that um, by increasing and decreasing the stitches. So I, 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 you alternate that. Could I ask you a question? Sure. Would you start here? Yes. Okay. Yes. So yeah, that's a good point. I just did this to show you so right. that you could sort of see what's going on. It's a bit looser than these ones too. Uh -huh. So here I'm decreasing, and you can see it starts pointing inwards. Right. And then here I'm increasing. So as you go, when you start, it's all straight. Uh -huh. As you keep going, you end up with this petal. That is Clearly really a clever shape. idea. So then the trick is to do the layers. Oh, to do this? Oh. Right. So how do you do that? So uh, what I've done is I, you end up, you have two of them that you make. Uh -huh. Okay, so you've done this one and I've done, gone as far as I need to go. And to hide the join, I do the last row with the following color. Oh, with the following color. Yeah, okay. so you can now, see that. Now, could I ask you one more yeah. question? Would this layer have more stitches than that no, layer? No, they don't. They, they don't. don't. It has the same number of stitches. Okay. And in fact, even though you're in, when you're increasing and decreasing, the stitched count stays the same throughout okay. until we get to the top. And I'll get okay. to that point. <laughs> okay. All right. So what you do is you have your two layers. This mm -hmm. one is not as deep as the first one. Mm -hmm. I lay them over so each other. So it will layer. Yes. And they're slightly offset. Okay. So with that, with this this round of the new color, I've actually gone a little further into the next row. Mm -hmm. So then that offsets the petals. So then you have one petal here, and it's offset. And then what I'm going to do, I can get myself untangled here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, where is it? Here we go. I'm going to pick up with the stitch from the front and one from the back. Let me hide that, and then you can see. Okay. And I knit the two together, and oh, it comes off. Okay. So as I work my way around. Is that it a joins two up. needle? It's it would be a bind off if I was also binding, binding off, off. But, but you're I'm not. not. I'm just okay. moving them onto the next needle. Now what happens as I so here uh -huh. I can show you, I've done that and and now I'm at the very end uh -huh. and as you can see this needle is now getting yes empty. everything is now empty. Yeah. So I can keep going, uh -huh. and it just that is a clever idea. Just, we get. Uh, it's yeah. all stuck here. So that's so that frees up that needle, mm -hmm. and then your need the, your next needle is free to start the following layer. Okay. 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 That's yeah. And then you're over so here. So here I can show you what happens. So you can see also what happens is it's very curly, but yes. we'll get to that too. Um, so now I've done the green, and the green, mm -hmm. as you can see, is the last color. And right. now we're starting to narrow it down to okay. get the decrease. So for the in the very beginning, I spoke to you about do having mm -hmm. doing increases and decreases to right. get that petal shape. Rather than actually decreasing, what I'm doing is I don't increase anymore. Okay. So here I have my decrease, mm -hmm. and here I'm not just not increasing, and that makes it narrower oh, and, and narrower that, to get oh, to the top. Oh, that is okay. clever. So and then, did you knit this all in one then? Um, yeah, it's all done. And what I mean, you would drop it down onto yeah. either um, two circulars or onto double pointed needles, right. whatever you're comfortable uh -huh. working with to get uh -huh. that really little stem at the top. So you end up with a very curly hat. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> so the last step to do this is you're going to tack down these little petals. So here I've tacked down one so you can ah, see what that looks like. I would not have known that. Color. I just, oh yeah, they are tacked down, yeah. aren't they? Didn't know. Because otherwise they're curly. That is one of the cutest so. hats I have Thank ever you. seen. It's really fun to make. I've made mm -hmm. oodles of them. Well, I, really and I know, it. and I was looking at this green and yellow. I don't know which one I like best. No. I know. You, and did, how did you come up with that idea? You know, I don't know. It was actually one of the first hats that I designed. and. You, you never know where these things come from. I All know. of a sudden, you just start working, and then it's like magic. And I mean, I think that I'm, I'm inspired by the colors. The colors are so fantastic. Thanks, Tina. Thank you very much.